At this year's Embedded World Conference, LDRA received an Embeddy Award for Integrated Airborne Functional Safety and Cybersecurity Software Verification. Let's take a look at some of the capabilities that we presented to them. This is the LDRA Control Flow Graph. And what this allows us to do is zoom in on any particular function and get a flow graph style layout for what's actually happening. If I zoom in here on any one of these nodes and click on them, we can see it's going to show us the actual source code here on the left hand side, as well as any missing coverage branches and where that branch originated from, allowing us to look at the source code and determine what we need to do for our test cases to gain coverage here. If I zoom out again and click on a missing coverage statement, here we can see again the same thing. In this case, we're missing coverage on statement number 11 here, because if I go back to statement seven, we can see that we are missing coverage for the default case in a switch statement. In the same vein, it's extremely important for testers and developers to understand the idea of data coupling. And the way that LDRA helps to display this is by showing you the dynamic data flow coverage for all of your data coupling variables, as well as the line numbers that they're being used on. These reports are all also hyperlinked, so when I double click here and I open my text editor, we can see the actual line of the missing data couple coverage. Shifting gears to the cybersecurity aspect of this, in the last decade, cybersecurity has become increasingly important in the aerospace and defense industry due to the increase in drone capabilities and unmanned vehicles. So at LDRA, we've taken it upon ourselves to put the three most commonly used software security standards and place them all in one report that's easy to read and easy to get your compliance with all three of them. Additionally, in our TB Secure reporting package, we have the option to organize these different violations by various different levels and in various different manners to make it easier for developers to actually solve these security issues. So in the security weakness report, we have our most common security weaknesses organized in a heat map, as well as organized by severity. Sometimes we may want to see our code in a little bit of a different light. So the security audit report allows us to show our key areas by complexity in a heat map, as well as our key areas by source lines also in a heat map. The security review report shows us our different CWE weaknesses as well as cert rules, as well as the top 25 CWE weaknesses that we may be violating and organizes them according to a heat map by category. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at info at LDRA.com and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. Thanks, and have a nice day.